let's rock and roll. If anyone has any questions throughout this, feel free to come on camera and ask or come up in the chat. So I feel super passionate about discussing business planning with agents because in my past experience and the classes that I have attended, I've always left frustrated and still not with any kind of clarity. Um, so with today's call, I am hopeful that when you get off here, you will have the template actionable plans, like you will know what you need to be doing within your business. Um, let me know in the chat or on the video, do you guys have the, I gotta make sure I add these people in. Um, do you have the template from Canva that you can edit? I can't remember offhand if I had added this into the um, course or not, but if you don't have it, I can easily give it to you. Let me grab the link right now copy link. So you'll be able to go in and edit this however you want. All right. So the reason why I wanted to start this off with just a quick story. Um, when I had first gotten to the business, I had attended a business planning class and I've been attending business planning classes since then. But um, when I first got started, I attended a class and the broker had given me um, like a 20 page packet. And I felt as though it was really overwhelming. And um, he wanted us to do like six to nine lead gen sources, which to me, it was very intimidating, especially as a newer agent. And as we go about this entire class today, I'm going to say over and over how you have to cater this towards you and your business and how you do things. Cause each one of us are so different. And I think it's beneficial to just like take the golden nuggets that work for you and apply it into your business. So, um, you know, like I'm mentioning about this broker and our business class, like maybe that 20 page packet worked for some agents and maybe coming up with six to nine lead gen sources works for some of you. But for me at the time, especially being a newer agent, it was overwhelming. And so we had to come up with six to nine lead gen sources. And I could come up with like a couple that I felt interested in doing, but there was also random ones that I had on there that I had no interest in, but I was just trying to meet the quota of the six to nine lead gen sources. And then we had to come up with actionable tasks for those items. And I was just writing random stuff. I was like, this isn't even things that I want to do. I don't even know um, for some of them what I was supposed to be doing. So I ended up leaving the class, calling a girlfriend, telling her about it. She was like, social media works for you. Like you have seen success with that, especially six years ago. It, it was newer. It wasn't really so much a thing with businesses on Instagram. So it was like um, very eye-opening for me that I was like, you know what? That is what's working for me in my business. This is what I need to be focusing on because I have seen the success. And then I can focus on the next lead gen source. So I just want to mention that because um, we're again, we are all so different and you need to cater this towards yourself in the way that you lead generate the way that you have run your business. Um, okay, so I'm going to pull up on the screen. I'm going to screen share so that I can kind of chat with you as we go through the template. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Ashley. Thank you so much for hopping on here. I was just going on with a random story and now... <laughs> Now we're about to get started. So perfect. In the chat, I did share with everybody a link for the business planning template that I use that my team uses. Now, this is like completely dummy proof. Like it's very basic, very simple. It's what works for me. It's not complicated. And you can edit it, do whatever it is that you need to do to cater it towards yourself. Hi, Lori. All right, I'm going to share my screen. Let me know. Can you all see this? Give me a little thumbs up. That would be really helpful. Cool. All right. You just never know sometimes. All right. So let's see if I can make this a little bigger. Awesome. Okay. So as you'll see, as you go through the template, there's a, a couple things for you to fill out. It's six pages to start. So we all have like the yearly goal, right? We're always thinking about what I want to produce that year, or at least 
that's what I've done. That's what I've heard from other agents. And I am really passionate about the book, The 12 Week Year. Um, so if you haven't read it yet, I truly, truly highly recommend um, reading that book. Also the compound effect. But with the 12 week year, um, he really emphasizes on breaking things down quarterly and then monthly, weekly, and daily with these actionable tasks. Because when we think of that overall year goal, you know, we're making, at least I am, really audacious goals, crazy goals, right? And it can kind of be every year. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that, but let's try. And I think it can be a little intimidating or daunting with this huge goal. And it's like, how the heck am I going to achieve this? So breaking it down quarterly will be so helpful for you. And that way you're breaking things down quarterly so that you're staying on track. A lot of times we end up getting ahead of ahead of the track. Um, and you're not just going through like in quarter two, quarter three, like, oh, well, I still have the rest of the year to accomplish this goal. Like, no, you're keeping yourself on track. So with however you visualize like your year, like maybe you're, you're looking at, um, sales volume, or maybe you're analyzing transactions, like however that looks for you, that's what you need to be thinking about, um, but breaking it down into quarterly. So I'm going to show you an example of Aubrey's. She's our buyer specialist on the team. I will show you an example of hers after, but each agent I've done this with has structured it differently. So don't overanalyze like how I'm telling you that we do it. You have to cater it for yourself. So with this yearly goal, Break that down into quarterly, however that looks for you. And you can use these spaces. And this is great to have this little template for you to be able to go back quarterly and look back on. Now, this little line here, I've noticed like with some agents, like they really overanalyze it. They're like, okay, do I need to have two different goals here? People have done it differently. They have taken out the line and just filled in whatever, maybe like one goal for that quarter quarter, like the sales goal or the transaction goal, or maybe they have multiple goals that they want to analyze quarterly. And so you can utilize this line. You can add multiple lines. So this is all edible in Canva and you can do it however works for you. So that big audacious goal that you have for the year, let's break it down quarterly and what that looks like. Not complicated at all, right? Now let's dive in a little bit deeper into um, okay, I want to talk about this page first. So I like to have this. This is like my map for the year. So I like to do this uh, before the new year. But if you're just starting now with a business plan, start in June. Forget about the rest of the months, right? Let's, um, I use this for mapping out like what mailers do I want to send out? What, and so that I can look January, February, March, I need to be sending out these things. Or maybe you're breaking it down quarterly, however that looks for you. Like to my sphere, I wanna send out something quarterly or every month. That This is where you can map it out here so that you can have this template to have up in your office, to have it on your desktop, to have it printed out in your planner so that you are able to see what your goal is monthly. Um, you could put your events on here, your customer appreciation events, your mailing schedule, if it has something to do with social media, whatever it is that you do to lead generate, you can use this template for that. You can plan ahead of time and visually see what you need to do. Before I had this, it, it was like, what am I supposed to be doing this month? I don't remember. Then I forget. And then I'm like, shit, I should have sent that out in July. So this is just a really good, super simple template to utilize. Okay. So we have our quarterly goals, right? And then we're looking at this um, template, but it's like, okay, we need to break things down into monthly. So that's where I have this, super basic. Now we're like, okay, we know what our yearly goal is, right? Hopefully you've written that down, you have an idea, um, and then you've broken it down into quarterly, right? So that every quarter you're able to analyze this. Now let's talk about monthly. What the heck do I need to be doing in order to achieve my quarterly and yearly goal? So a lot of times in these, these are like my big highlight goals that I know I need to be doing for the month. So for everybody, it's going to look different, right? So let's say I have um, in March in this little box, a lot of times I'm filling in whatever it is that I had here for March. 
And I'm putting that here for my big goal. So like I have it on this template that I've mapped out, but then I'm also seeing it here on my, my March big goal. Um, so I could be the mailer that I'm sending out that month, that event that I'm doing, the social media live that I wanted planned, whatever it looks like for you. Um, I'm putting that here. And any other big goals that you have for the month, let's put it here. So you have this one sheet for the whole month. It's great. And then these little boxes down here is where we break down the actionable tasks. So let me give you an example. If I'm doing a mailer, what are my tasks that I need to do in order to send out that mailer? I love checklists. So that's kind of what I utilize for these boxes. So let's say I send out monthly a mailer to my neighborhood. So I will make a note of it here, monthly mailer and the tasks that I need to do. So I need to go into the MLS. I need to pull the recent stats for the community. I'm writing that down. And then I'm going into Canva and I'm creating a postcard template or a flyer, whatever works. I'm creating a template for it. Then my next task is I'm putting it into CoreFact and uh, uploading all the addresses for the neighborhood. And then, um, you know, I'm paying for CoreFact and then it's out. So I break it down to what all these tasks are. And so I'm visually seeing, I need to be doing this. I got to do this next. I got to do this. And then checking it off like, all right, done. Mailer done for the month. So it's like you're coming up with this task, this thing you need to be doing, and you are coming up with actionable tasks in order to complete it. So a lot of times I'm sending out a mailer every month. So I'm just copy and pasting this into the next month. And it's a lot of the same stuff every month, but that's what's going to bring you the business. You have to keep showing up. You have to keep doing these things in order to see the results, right? Like I'm not just doing one mailer in, in March and seeing huge success from it. I'm having to do it every month. So it makes the whole planning process super simple when I'm just like copy and pasting it into the next month. Um, let's say that one of your goals is to post 10 reels in a month. These are just examples just to like try to inspire you and get your creative juices flowing on the things that you need to be focusing on and all the action steps. But let's say I had 10 reels that I wanted to do that month. So I would put that big goal under this line here for March. And I would use one of these boxes to create, okay, I have this 10 uh, real month, uh, month goal. What does that look like? What do those tasks need to be. So for me, I would be writing, okay, I need to do two to three reels a week. I would be putting that here in this box. I need to spend an hour creating content for the reel. Then I need to spend an hour getting ready. Like, you know, that you do your hair, your makeup, figuring out your outfits. This shit takes time. And then, <laughs> then you're allotting, okay, I'm going to need two hours to record this content. However it is, reels, YouTube videos, educational videos, whatever. Now I need a time block, uh, two hours to do this content. Then I need a time block, two hours to record the content. So I'm writing all these actionable steps here in this box of the stuff that I need to do. So usually I have like four big goals for March. Now let's say you have less. Well, you can delete these in Canva. You can add more boxes in Canva. You you can cater it to however you want. So now we'll be able to visualize these different tasks that I want to do for the month. And I've created all the, the steps that I need to do for it. And like I said, a lot of times we're doing the same thing every month. So in April, I'm, I still want to do 10 reels so I can copy and paste that into the next month. Now let's take this information. Let's take this plan and break it down into your week. Like, what does that really look like? So you need to look at your calendar, however you use a calendar, like Google Calendar, a paper calendar. Um, I have a template in here in case you want to use this. You can fill this in. You can print it out. You can put it in your planner. You can have it in your desk. You can have it in your office. And you're going to take this monthly goal and you're going to break it down into weekly. So what that looks like is... Now, every, we're real estate agents. Every day looks so different. And we might already have some things plug, plugged into our calendar. So I need to take, let's use the reels as an example. Remember all those tasks that I said that I had to do? I need to time block those tasks. 
Okay. I need to allot myself that time for me and my business to focus on it. So if you remember, I had said, okay, it takes me two hours to come up with some content. So I will literally go into my calendar in time block, whatever day I want to do that week. And I'm time blocking that two hours to create the content. Then I'm time blocking that hour to get ready, to go to the location. I'm time blocking two hours to um, uh, create the content, do the videos, do the reels, whatever it is. And then I've got to edit it. So these, all these tasks, you're, you're having a little checklist. It feels great to check them off. And then you're taking your, your week because every week, at least for me, is different. A lot of things, some appointments are the same, but a lot of times there's other things plugged in. So I'm having to take this monthly goal and break it down into weekly. And I'll look at my week calendar. I'm looking at my month calendar and plugging it in. I truly, truly believe in time blocking, especially, especially as realtors, especially as people who are so busy and they have other things going on, kids, their appointments, there's, we're all so busy. So keeping I, every day, I come up with this to-do list and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much to get done today. But what um, takes the stress away is when I time block it and I'm like, okay, I realize that if I stay to this schedule today and I don't get distracted that I will actually be able to get all these things done. And a lot of times you'll realize, at least for me anyways, I'm able to get them done a lot sooner than I was expecting. So I just truly, truly believe in, in time blocking. And sure, it takes 10 minutes to do it, but it's, it's absolutely worth it. So let's just do a quick recap. And I would love to answer any questions you have. And I will show you Aubrey's. I didn't want to show you Aubrey's first because each one of us are so different. Like I said, I was going to say this like 20 times. So I don't want you to feel like you have to do it this way. Um, I just want to be able to, I guess, give you guys an example. Um, okay, so like I said, recap, we come up with our yearly goal, right? A lot of newer agents are like, I want to make 100000 a year. Great. How do we need to break that down quarterly? And that's where you can use this sheet. But like I said, if you have other quarterly goals, like number of transactions or number of weekly emails, whatever it is, let's get it down here quarterly so that we can check in with ourselves quarterly and make sure that we're doing the things that we said that we were going to do in order to meet that yearly goal. Now we're taking what we want to do quarterly, or let me say this, because I love this. I love this map so much. After we write down our quarterly, we're mapping out all the things that we want to do, our events that year, our customer appreciation events, networking events, mailers, reels, wh whatever it is that you want to map out for the year so you have it already mapped out in front of you, this super simple sheet will be very, very helpful. Then we're taking down the, we're looking at everything monthly. This one piece of paper sets up your month. What are your big goals? You can take those things that you mapped out, bring them over here, add a couple more things, use these tabs to add those actionable tasks that you need to do, like break down even the simplest thing because it's part of the task. It's part of what you have to do in order to get it done. Um, and then, like I said, edit this however you want. You could add more lines, you can take away the lines, you can add more boxes, you can take away boxes. And then every week you're gonna look at that one sheet of paper and realize, okay, this week in order to hit that monthly goal, I'm gonna need to time block these things because there's a lot of tasks and I'm gonna put them in my calendar and um, have your week all set up. And you can even add personal things to your, your uh plan to make sure that you make it a priority because I do feel like it's just as important. So I will show you Aubrey's. I would love to know. Okay. The template I had posted it in the chat, but maybe you came in after. So I just posted it again. So hopefully you can see the template there. I hope that this is helpful for you. I hope it's super simple, but I hope that it will make such a huge impact for you and your business. It's so helpful for us. And, um, like I said, other business plannings that I've gone to, has, have, they've just made it so much more complicated than what I think it needs to be, but everybody's different. Let me know in the chat if this was helpful for you. All right, so, um, okay, I'm going to show you Aubrey's. Like I said, everybody's is different, but I just want to inspire you, get 
get some plans in place for you guys. So here's what her quarterly goals broken down a couple of examples. Um, and like I said, you know, everyone does it so, so differently. And then she took a lot of those and broke it down into the month. And then some of the tasks in order to complete those. Um, and then I'll show you her weekly planner. And I am always asking, I mean, if someone has a team, they might be interested to know this, but I make sure everyone does time block and I'm, I have access to their, their Google calendar. And I'm seeing that these items are being uh, time blocked in and they've said it's just made such a difference. And um, I even have a little timer. So I put my phone away and I bought this little cheap timer on, a, I have it in the other room, but I could share it on my Instagram story or something, but I have a little timer so that with these tasks, my time blocking, I don't want to be distracted. So if, if you've known me for a while, I don't have any notifications on my phone, but I don't want to be tempted to check my phone and check an email or something like that. So I keep my phone in the other room. I set the timer for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, just so I can focus on that task. And it really has helped me focus, get things done. I'm not trying to multitask, all those things. So this is just a little example to give you, give you guys an idea. If you don't have any questions, that's really um, all I have to share about this template. Hopefully you guys got it. If not, I can email it over to you. But keep me posted on what you think and, and how it ends up going with your business planning. I hope this gives you some clarity, gives you a little bit of a direction of where you need to go with it. And yeah, if we don't have anything else. I'm going to I'm going to rock and roll. You guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next Monday. I think we're talking about I got it here uh, planning an epic customer appreciation event. So I'm going to share. I have, I have so many templates for this and the actual items that you need to do in order to plan it. Um, I have templates for all the things. So we'll go over all that. Thank you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.